All right, as always, you can go to YouTube channel My Medical Nightmare and see 40 plus hours video on everything that happened to me. All right, the state of Florida Department of Health has finally saw fit to punish orthopedic doctor Scott Katzman. There are many complaints against this doctor from patients and customers. Television broadcaster WPTV NBC Channel 5 out of West Palm Beach, Florida did a piece on Katzman in 2019 and they looked at his medical practice orthopedic and laser spine surgery. WPTV found through state records that Katzman's insurance had paid out more than $1.6 million in seven malpractice cases. They also found he was linked to two patient deaths through his procedures in the state of Florida. And they mentioned problems here with having the Florida Board of Medicine and concerns that they are not doing enough to regulate the activities of doctors named in malpractice situations. However, despite the number of complaints that exist on the internet and the coverage in the media, the state of Florida Department of Health has been somewhat sluggish in holding this medical doctor accountable. You can search Katzman's medical license to operate at the Florida Department of Health website. And under final disciplinary actions reported by the Department of Health within the last 10 years, you can find this entry in September 2023. The allegation is that the doctor made deceptive, untrue, or fraudulent representations in their operative report. Fined $5,000 with additional costs of $7,500. And according to the report here, Dr. Katzman was credited as leading an operation in 2016, which was in fact performed by another doctor. And the documents claim Katzman only assisted in this operation. You can see several hours documentation on my interaction with this doctor based in the state of Florida in New Jersey and his associate, Dr. Wayne J. Broth, MD. I've got scanned records, emails, as well as recorded telephone exchanges that you can listen to between myself and the offices of these doctors. They're up on my YouTube channel. I sent images of a very serious broken skull based injury to these doctors. They stated as such in email and telephone calls that they reviewed these images and that no injuries appeared. And this was not true. I had a lot of strange problems crop up in the process of getting my free MRI analysis from these doctors. Sent the pictures in in early 2022. There was a brief period of back and forth email exchange between myself and the office of this doctor. Then in an email, I was asked about insurance information. I, of course, have no insurance. I have no source of income. And despite them offering a free MRI review, at this point, five months of silence set in. So they lost interest in helping me out despite their free service. Finally, five months later, I was contacted and told that Dr. Wayne J. Broth, who works with orthopedic and laser spine surgery of Florida, had reviewed my records that I sent in and wanted to do the consultation all of a sudden, out of the blue, really. Yeah, go up there to YouTube and listen to that telephone call with Dr. Broth, and you'll hear he tries to convince me for most of the call that I have no injury present. Finally, I asked for this doctor's first name, and he all of a sudden wanted to get off the telephone. So this is very uh, suspicious. I filed complaints against orthopedic and laser spine surgery. Dr. Scott Katzman and Dr. Wayne J. Broth with the Florida Department of Health. In 2022, I had a lot of problems with the Department of Health 
not looking into my case. They stalled the investigation for four months. At one point, they told me that my records that I provided were not complete. I argued that they had more than enough material to go on. They weren't interested in the emails, which contained IP addresses, which the state of Florida could have traced back to Dr. Katzman's computers, for example. They weren't interested in the recorded telephone calls between myself and Dr. Wayne Broth. Uh, they could have easily called the doctor's number and spoke to him. You can hear my recorded telephone calls with the representatives of the Florida Department of Health on my YouTube channel. And eventually, they simply would not investigate my case and my complaints, despite the fact that there are these numerous judgments, disciplinary actions, as well as these news reports in the media detailing the actions of this doctor. I think the state of Florida is simply lazy. The Florida Department of Health, Dr. Scott Katzman, Wayne J. Broth, and orthopedic laser spine surgery in the state of Florida. These are all uh, very untrustworthy outfits. And prospective patients out there, uh, do your research before you seek health treatment in the state of Florida. I believe there's a possibility of conspiracy in my dealings with Scott Katzman's office as it relates to the other documentation that you'll see in my videos. There's a curious several month lapse between when I submitted my MRI and CT images to this doctor and when he finally decided to do the consultation. And I believe he contacted the original radiologist and doctors involved. Dr. Julian Patrick Drewhan, MD, Donald Shane Kelly, MD, Michael Brandt Ruff, MD, and Angus Baird, MD. These doctors were associated with Birmingham Radiological Group, Vulcan Imaging Associates, and Ascension St. Vincent's Hospital in Birmingham, Alabama.